the number 12 and if I square that we all know that that is 12 times 12 which is 144. The technique that I shared with you last time was this, that taking the number 12, if I take the first digit, if I square that, that gives me 4. If I then take the first and the second digit, if I multiply them together, which is 1 times 2, which gives me 2, and if I double that, that gives me 4. If I then take the first digit and I square that, that gives me 1. So 12 squared is 144 without using a calculator. If I do something maybe a little bit more difficult, if we take the number 23 and if I square that, take the number 3, square it, well 3 squared is 9, multiply the 2 and the 3 together to give me 6, double that, that gives me 12, put the 2 down, carry the 1, take the number 2, square that which gives you 4, add it to the 1 that you carried, that is 5. So 23 squared is 529. Take the digit 3, if I square that I get 9. I can in this case take the number 12 just to be one. That'll be one digit in itself. 12 times 3 is 36. If I double that, I get 72. I put the 2 down and I carry the 7. Take the number 12. If I square that, that's 144. To 144, add 7 and that gives me 151. 123 squared is 15,129. If we take the number 12, it is actually the same as 10 plus 2 squared. And that is also the same as 10 plus 2 times by 10 plus 2. Expanding these brackets, if I take the 10 and I multiply by 10, it gives me 100. 10 times by 2 gives me 20. 2, lots of 10, is 20. And 2 times 2 is 4. If I tidy this up, that's 144. Started off with 12 squared and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use A plus B and I'm going to square that and that is the same as A plus B times by A plus B understanding this is the key point to be able to work with Vedic maths A squared plus 2AB plus b squared. If we take the number 17, here the number 7 is what b is. So if I square 7 I get 49. So I'll write down the 9 and I'll carry the 4. I come to the second part which is 2ab. So if I multiply a and the B together, which in this case is 1 and 7, that gives me 7. If I double that, which is the 2, it gives me 14. To 14, I must add the 4 that I carried, which is 18. I now come to the A. If I square that, that gives me 1. To the 1, I must add the 1 that I carried, that gives me 2. That's 2, 8, 9. I will now show you how we can use this principle to cube numbers without using a calculator. A plus B and we want to cube it. That's the same as A plus B times by A plus B times by A plus B. And from the previous slide 
we know that if I multiply a plus b by itself I actually get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared and I'm going to multiply that by a plus b inside the longer bracket will be multiplied by a so I get a cubed plus 2a squared b plus a b squared everything inside the longer bracket will be multiplied by b giving me a squared b plus 2a b squared plus b cubed I need to now tidy that up using that I have a cubed using 2a squared and a squared b I have 3a squared b using a b squared and 2a b squared I have 3a b squared and lastly I have my b cubed you may have noticed that that is actually the binomial expansion. I'm going to show you now how I can use that to be able to help me to cube numbers where I don't have to use the calculator. Expansion above, we'll take the number 12 and to cube that I have a equals 1 and b equals 2. So applying the expansion where b equals 2 and b cubed would be 8 so I write 8 down and there's nothing to carry where b is 2 b squared is 4 and 4 times by 1 is 4 and 4 times by 3 is 12 so I put the 2 down and I'll carry the 1 moving along the value of b is 2 a squared is 1 1 times 2 is 2, multiplying by 3 gives me 6, carrying the 1 is 7. Going to the last point, which is a cubed, taking the value of a as 1, cubing that, which is 1, and that's my answer, which is 1728. In what we've learned now, we'll apply that and we'll take the number 23 and we'll cube that. After a time uh, this binomial expansion you'll actually be able to do uh, in your head because it's something that becomes uh, so familiar to yourself and you'll be quite comfortable doing that. So again here a equals 2, b equals 3 and if I take this term here which is b cubed and if I take 3, 3 cubed is 27 put the 7 down and I'll carry the 2 now it's 3ab squared uh, again b is 3 squaring that is 9 a is 2 which is 18 if I multiply that by 3 it's 54 and if I carry the 2 that's 56 so I put my 6 down and I'll carry the 5 and if I go on to the next expansion it's 3a squared b uh, b is 3 a is 2, 2 squared is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 3 is 36, 36 uh, plus the uh, 5 is 41, so I put the 1 down and I carry the 4. And the last thing that I'm going to do now is if I take the A, which is again 2, and if I cube that, that's 8, 8 and the 4 is 12. And my answer is 12,167 and I stress again this is a technique that has not used the calculator and the more you practice this the faster you become and it is quite possible uh, to do this within uh, within inside a few seconds of someone actually using the calculator if you have any problems with this please feel free to email me